indestructible. So start off with a clean face and we're going to apply a moisturizer just to um, keep our face nice and supple so then our foundation or anything we're going to apply doesn't seem dry or patchy and to enhance that more um, dewy skin finish I applied a mist and then also a primer just to neutralize my natural skin tone and create a nice and fresh skin look like Tiffany does. This makeup look is more based on skin than any colors on the eyes or anything. So we're definitely going to do a lot of face steps for this to achieve her really nice, dewy, and natural looking healthy skin. Then I'm going in with a cushion foundation and this will just cover up any imperfections and this um, perfection cushion from Soropasu is like the best cushion I've ever tried and it gives off a really super natural finish and it looks like a real skin so I love it. And I'm going in with a lighter BB cream just to highlight my face a little bit and give it a more natural finish even though we're going to go in with a little bit of highlighter later. This will just lighten our skin and somewhat match it to Tiffany's a little bit because she does have really bright and light white skin that all rhymed that, that was pretty fun moving on we'll apply concealer and this will just um, hide any blemishes our under eye circles and I also applied it on my nose bridge just to bring it out a little bit and make it a little more skinny looking and I'm blending it all out with a fluffy brush Then to set everything we've just applied, I'm using the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Powder and this seriously hides all your pores and makes your skin look so flawless and smooth. I love it and it's super mattifying so if you have dry skin, I don't really recommend this but it's great for those with oily skin. And now I'm going in with bronzer just to contour my face and make it a little more slimmer because my face does look a little more round um, compared to Tiffany's. And I'm also applying bronzer to the sides of my nose to make it skinnier like Tiffany as well. Then I'm going in with a liquid highlighter and applying it to the high points of my face just to make everything look nice, fresh, and dewy. Um, this is a huge trend in Asia. They love the dewy skin. It looks really youthful and healthy. So I'm applying it anywhere I want to bring out and also um, make a little more uh, moistful looking almost. Then I'm taking a highlighter powder and just set the areas where I applied the liquid highlighter just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm setting my face with a face mist and this also brings a little more dewiness into our face. Moving on to the eyes, I'll be doing my brows first and I'm not going to do it as strong as I usually do. I'm just going to fill in my bald areas and somewhat make the eyebrow shape straight since that is the shape Tiffany usually sports in the photos I see of her. So I'm just trying to create a little more innocent um brow look not too strong even though my eyebrows are naturally a little bit arched um, I'm just gonna do that and then set it with a brow gel then for our eyes I'm applying a shimmery cream eyeshadow to the eyelid area and this will just give a nice clean and natural look of a wash of color then to pop in the crease, I'm using this matte tan color, and it's almost a little more um, warm copper-ish. And this will just pop into the crease just to give a natural depth um, because all the photos I see of Tiffany are quite natural looks. I'm not going with too much color in this, and I also dragged it down to the outer half of my lower lash line. Then I'm taking a shimmery eyeshadow stick and applying it to the empty areas of my lower lash line slash a ghost highlight area. And then I'm taking a darker copper brown color and applying it to the water line area and also the outer tight line area of my eye. Then to line our eyes, I'm using a liquid eyeliner on the upper lash line and slightly winging it out and also keeping the line thin because I still want to focus the look on a more innocent look. Then I'm going in with a pencil eyeliner just to fill in any empty areas where the liquid eyeliner did not 
touch yet. And then of course I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply mascara to my upper and lower lashes. I had to show you what my um, lower lash mascara looks like because I haven't explained it to you guys yet. But this is the Too Cool For School Dino Plots Escalator Mascara and it actually retracts up and down the wand and it looks super super cool. It can volumize and lengthen so I love that feature. I love this mascara so much. And then for our lips I'm going with a natural peach color and just dabbing it on my whole entire lip area and I'm going in with a more darker pink and applying it to the center area of my lip just to create a subtle gradient lip color. I didn't want to go with a dramatic red or anything so this is my next option. Then to just top off the whole entire look, I'm applying a lip tint onto my cheeks actually just to tint my cheeks and give it a more rosy look and this is the completed Tiffany inspired makeup look. And in no way am I saying that I look like Tiffany. This is just simply a inspired look that I got from all her Instagram photos and all the photos you guys sent me of her. So yeah. For the outfit, I got inspired by one of her airport fashion photos and the main focal point of this outfit are the textured black and yellowish um, sunglasses and also the top is a white blouse with a little more roughly detailing at the neck area and for the sunglasses, I bought these at 421 and also the shirt as well and they were on sale. Super, super cute, am I right? And for the shoes and the skirt, um, I kind of just found these in my room. I'm not sure where I got them but I'll list them down below if I do find out and I just went with a floral black skirt that falls right above the knee and some shiny black shoes like she has in the photos and my bag is gold instead of yellow because I don't have a yellow bag but it is messenger style like hers. So that completes the first episode in my K-pop style seal series. If you want me to do a certain idol be sure to tweet me or Instagram me at talkaboutlisa with the hashtag tag kpop style seal with lisa and i'll be sure to get to it thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye beauties uh -huh.